Welcome to Mustache Mountain. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 391 pounds, Trent Seven and Tyler Bate, Mustache Mountain. I am not fond of the facial hair on display here. I see enough awful hipsters with terrible mustaches in the general population. I don't need to see two more in the ring. I haven't seen facial hair this awful since Cole's goatee. Hey, it was the 90s. Everyone was doing it. but they are back in fashion thanks to a return to NXT. I agree, Saxton. It was a great move for the fashion police. Have you seen what people wear in Florida? That. Well, if he gave you a citation for your suit, he'd absolutely thrown you in jail for your pajamas. Super kick! Good night. Dominating shoulder tackle. Tagged in. with the knee. That was vicious. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Hooked up and boom, back drop, suplex. What a high angle right across the shoulders. And oh right. my God, what a forearm. Right to the jaw. Down with a neck breaker. And here is Fandango in off the tag. In off the tag. Tyler Breeze graced NXT with his presence and immediately proved in matches against Sami Zayn and Finn Balor that the model extraordinaire wasn't just another pretty face. Oh, he's a scoop slam. Fandango with a nice reversal. That's his, your favorite, Corey. Brilliant. Breeze's ability was put to the ultimate test at the first NXT Brooklyn TakeOver event when 
Prince Pretty clashed with legendary Japanese competitor Jushin Thunder Liger. In the fall of 2015, Breeze and his selfie stick arrived in WWE alongside Summer Rae and made an incredible statement by defeating Dolph Ziggler at Survivor Series. Eventually, Tyler formed a fashion police of sorts with Fandango as the duo called, you guessed it, Breeze Andre. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Little misstep by Fandango. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. Look out, here we go. Needs to make it to the corner here, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole. There's no way around it. A tag is vital at this point in the match. Can't get it done. Fandango's effortless brilliance in the ballroom has transferred beautifully to WWE. If an opponent makes one wrong move, Fandango will capitalize on that, and it'll be all over. Desperately trying to get to the corner now. It's not... Whoa! 450! Nailed it! In. A superstar can't make too many mistakes against Fandango and expect to leave the ring victorious. A superstar has to be so careful with Fandango that what seemed like the smallest mistake to someone else could be exactly what the ballroom legend needs to seize the opportunity and walk out of the ring with a win. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. Tyler Breeze is not someone to sleep on. Now he's been put on the defensive. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now might be a good time to give him what he wants. Boom, right the button. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. Six. Given how impressive Tyler Bate has been thus far, guys, you almost forget that he's just a kid. If you remember, he first stepped into a WWE ring when he was just 19 years old. Oh, what a kick to the face! Oh my God! Three, four, five. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Bringing it back into the ring. Looking to make a much-needed tag here. And if successful, we may be looking at a whole new match here. Look out, he's almost there. If he doesn't make the tag, they're in big trouble here, Cole. No, he comes up short. Boy, he really needed that tag. Santon connects. Oh, man, what a splash. Tyler Breeze beginning to peter at him. Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. I'll stress further what Mike was saying about Tyler Bates' age. When most 19-year-olds were busy trading barbs with each other on social media, Bates was wowing a global audience in the inaugural United Kingdom Championship Tournament. And since that time, this could do it. Real nicely done. I can't believe he's in this. He isn't going to go away that easy. Uh-oh. Oh, right after the neck. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. All the way from the top rope. Gets the tag. You know, these guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. Find Dombo with a nice reversal. Tyler Breeze gets tagged in. Look out here. Absolutely, Tyler Breeze going for the cover. 
And Tyler Bate easily getting the shoulder up. Going to take more than that. Oh, heavy duty right hand. Horse impact. Boom! <laughs> what energy in the arena tonight. Remarkable technique from Tyler Bate. Training, strategizing, and execution. It's all coming together right now. Looking stunned, looking rocked. Tyler Bay looking on his game right now. What a shot. This is some great offense by Tyler Bruce. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Not where he wants to be right now. Oh, and the reversal by Tyler Breeze. Back in from the floor. He got in there. Good save. Oh, tag made. Oh, my God. Close line. And Tyler Bate is really taking a pounding. Unless he has no interest in walking away with the winner's end of the purse, he needs to make a tag immediately. Catastrophic damage on the back. Wow, what a sequence. is starting to rock. Hoping to make a tag here. It sounds like there are a lot of people here tonight hoping for the exact same thing. Oh, uh, look out! As the wrist locked up. 